Hello people of the world and welcome to today's episode of Coffee Chats with Jax. Today I want to talk to you guys about something that I really hate talking about, but it's something that has been coming up more than not lately in different moments that are kind of unexpected. I had the privilege of talking to a really good friend of mine about the specific topic because it's something that I don't think I'm very well versed in. It's something that I feel like I need to learn a lot more about and something that I have a lot of questions for, but it's also something that feels really scary and really vulnerable to talk about and that's diet culture. I don't think I really knew what diet culture was until last week, like in reality. I am very aware of the fact that so many times throughout the day, throughout the weeks, throughout my life, in my mind I'm thinking about food whether that is things I wish I could eat, things I want to eat, things I know I can't eat, things I have to eat, or thinking that I'm not supposed to eat, or I shouldn't eat this, or I shouldn't eat that, and if I eat this, I'm bad, and if I eat that, I'm good. And if I eat this cupcake, I'm gonna have to go run 10 miles afterwards to try and like compensate for it. And so many thoughts about body image and about how I wish I was this skinnier if I lost this amount of weight, or if I'm just a little bit more toned there. And I look around at different people and I hear different conversations, and that's a lot of the stuff that they talk about and think about as well. A lot a lot of the times it's in our conversations in more ways than I think we realize. It becomes this normal way of thinking about food. It becomes this normal way of thinking about life. We talk a lot about calories. We talk a lot about the next diet that we want to go on or how we're not eating this or that or we're doing keto because of this reason or we're being vegan because of this reason. There's nothing wrong with being vegan but some people use it as like a, a diet plan or a weight loss plan or they think if I take this supplement or if I fast between the hours of this hour and this hour or if I drink these different detox teas like it's so common and I am 100% part of the problem as I think so many of us are without realizing it but the way that we look at people for eating these foods or those foods or the way that we look at people based on what their body looks like versus someone else's body like if someone in a larger body eats cake and then someone in a smaller body eats cake why are we shaming the person in the larger body while we're telling the person in the smaller body like wow I wish I could eat that and not worry about it meanwhile the person in the larger body is shamed and told that they need to have more self-control or they need to work out more or they need to lose the weight or they're unhealthy there's just so much that goes into this and a good friend of mine was opening my eyes to this for the first time last week this thing called intuitive eating and the more we were talking about this the more my friend just opened my eyes to so many ways that I've looked at food that is toxic. Like diet culture is basically placing a moral value on food. Like food doesn't have a moral value. Cupcake isn't bad and salad isn't good. It's just, it's just food. Your body looks at it as calories and all of our bodies respond to food differently. We need different things. Sometimes we need carbs, sometimes we need protein, sometimes we need sugar because it makes our heart happy. I'm saying these things out of hopes that I will start to really learn more and believe them and live them truly because food is a really beautiful thing and for so many of us it's a really scary thing because just like me, like if you know my story, eating disorders are so much more common than we realize and they could look like so many different things. And a lot of the time they're symptoms for bigger issues, but I feel like a really big part of that that plays a role is in diet culture, is in uh, seeing on TV the people that are really skinny being praised and the people that are larger being talked bad about. It's the way that we view people and view ourselves. It's the self-talk. It's people talking about how they're constantly on a diet because they're constantly trying to lose this or that and the the diet industry is making so much money off of this and it makes me really mad because a lot of the times that's just extremely damaging to somebody's mental health, physical health, just damaging to somebody's life in general. And so this video is really just supposed to be a conversation starter because I don't know a lot about this yet, but I'm starting to really get interested and I'm starting to really want to learn and talk more because it's really important that we have a good view on our body and we have a good view on the nutrition that we eat, on the foods that we eat and we put into our bodies. And I just, I hate I hate the idea of feeling shame over eating a meal and that could be as extreme as eating any meal you feel shame because I've been there I've been in this place where if I eat a full meal I hate myself for it and I think I messed up but then there's a shame in like eating pasta versus eating salad and that's the stuff that I think is more openly talked about it's more culturally accepted to talk about how outwardly transparently angry at yourself for choosing to eat a bowl of pasta versus a salad and then you have to go like run five miles the next day to compensate or go on a, a juice cleanse or so 
so many things and I want to start talking more about this and I want to ask more questions and I know that I know very little right now because I'm very new to this conversation about diet culture and intuitive eating but I'm listening to some podcasts right now that my friend recommended me and I want to start reading some books and just paying more close attention to the language that I use in my own mind and outwardly when I'm talking about food and exercise and how to be an actually fully healthy human being and I think self-talk has a lot more to do with that than I thought so I'm gonna put some links to resources that a good friend of mine the one that kind of introduced me into this stuff she recommended I listen to I'm gonna be listening to this podcast and whatnot and so if you guys are interested in this conversation check out the links below it's something we should be talking more about focusing more about and giving ourselves more freedom in but I know that that's so much more easier said than done and I'm right there with you so I love you guys thank you for watching this video if y'all want to support me and get more involved in what I am doing go to patreon.com slash Jackie GTV and if you're interested in reading my book that I wrote called finding home which shares my story it actually goes into a lot of this body image stuff it goes into a lot of stuff about sexuality faith relationships so many things mental health wise so if you're interested in my book finding home click the link in the description box below to get it or just send me a message I'd love to tell you more about it or answer any questions you may have my email is jackiegtv7 at gmail.com I love you thank you for watching and I'll see you next week Goodbye.